Hi! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here. Hi, welcome, my name is Seth. Today I am going to be taking you guys through some new products that I've been actually dying to try that I've been collecting over the last, like, I don't know, two or three months now. I literally got this little guy here for Christmas and I've been wanting to try it for so long and I just haven't had a chance and I really wanted to do an opening and unboxing on my channel so I actually saved it because I love you guys. And so I'm so excited to actually try this out. A lot of people have it. It's called the Sonic Blend by Michael Todd Beauty and I heard such good things about it that it actually works really, really well. You see a lot of people using it. Maybe it's because it's expensive. Maybe it's because it works. I don't know. We're gonna see. Obviously not sponsored because who's gonna sponsor me? Nobody. So I'm gonna try this out. And then I have a bunch of other stuff. Like I have the subculture palette, never tried that. I have a bunch of revolution stuff. I have like just a bunch of stuff that I've collected over time. And I am dying to try it. So I'm actually gonna start off with this little Sonic Blend brush here. And I am gonna fill in my eyebrows and do a little primer off camera. I'm scared. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I did my brows off camera because I didn't want you guys to be bored with that and put primer on as well. But they're looking really dark. So, uh, we're gonna hope with foundation and makeup these start to come together. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this little Sonic Blend um, by Michael Todd. This brush that's actually electronic. So, I've seen, like I said in my intro, a lot of people using this. Apparently, it's like um, antimicrobial, like gives you an airbrushed look, super neat little brush here. I'm hoping that this is pre-charged because if not, then this will not be a good um, video. It comes in a holder. This is actually really cool. I'm kind of really excited to use this. So I guess this is an unboxing video. Get ready with me. I don't know. Oh my God, wow. This is actually really fancy. This is fancy. So apparently that wanted to be really disrespectful and be dead when I opened it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start with eyeshadow while that charges because I still wanna show you guys how it works because it looks like it's gonna be really cool and I've been waiting to use it. So we're gonna start with this subculture palette. I know this isn't new and that it's probably been out for a while, but I really wanna try it and I got it for like 20 bucks. So I was like, how can you beat that? And I know that this actually had a lot of mixed reviews saying that it kind of has a lot of fallout and that it's very powdery. So I'm confused and I wanna try it because I loved my Modern Renaissance palette. I think everyone really likes that. But this is the Subculture palette. It has a beautiful little collection of colors color set is that what it's called so I debated on getting this for a really long time and I finally decided we're gonna do it and another cool thing that I got that I've been waiting to get is the morphe fluidity white concealer so you already know we're gonna do a really bright cut crease so this palette definitely has a lot of really earthy tones to it so I think what I'm first gonna start by going in with because this color has been literally just calling out to me and is partially why I bought the palette is I'm gonna go in with the color Roxy which is like this really pretty peachy color and I'm gonna use the actual brush that it came with because you know sometimes they're good sometimes not so much. But before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelid with some Urban Decay Primer Potion, and that way it has a little bit of a better base to stick to. And now that I'm all primed, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that. Ooh, you can definitely tell there's a lot of kickback just from even lightly dipping into the pan. So you can see that. I know this isn't really a review. This is just supposed to be like using new stuff, but I guess maybe I'm kind of gonna review a little bit as I go. Ooh, but she is very pigmented. Oh, I love this color. You just have to be very careful with the pan. Maybe it's good that I uh, ended up not being able to use the, uh, the foundation brush right away after all, because I'm probably gonna get a lot of fallout, I'm imagining, from this palette. And the brush isn't horrible, but it's just definitely not the most comfy to use. So I'm actually gonna use a different brush, this Morphe M330 brush, and see if that's a little bit better to use for this. Yeah, this is a lot softer. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and did that on both eyes, so it's all blended out. I look a little spooky, don't I? <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Look at this water. It's called diamond water. 
I got it at Ross for two sixty nine. So now I'm going to go in with this little shade right here called All Star. And I'm just going to start to kind of deepen my crease right here. As far as the shadows go, they're actually really pigmented. They're really nice. The peach one, I got a lot of kickback. This one, not so much actually. So I want to let you know, I have been blending this for a hot minute on this eye off camera and you can see it's still it is just not wanting to really blend very well this i'm telling you is a very i don't know i don't know if it's the palette i think it's the palette <laughs> because i've literally been sitting here blending the shadow forever with different blending brushes different really kind of fluffy brushes here to just blend these colors together and i'm just having a really tough time getting it to look nice and i mean i have an eyeshadow base down in everything but you can see here it just it's so patchy so i don't know what's up with that but so i just thought i'd let you guys know in case you are considering purchasing this or if you already have it let me know in the comments if you have the same issue or if it's just me maybe it's just me who knows but i don't think it's just me i'm gonna keep going and keep blending this i'm gonna power through my arms are killing me but i'll be right back Okay, so literally I have no idea what's going on. It seems like this eye was a lot easier to blend. It only took me a few minutes on that one, whereas this one, it took me literally 12 years, and I still don't like the way that this one looks, but I've kind of given up because I'm not about to sit here and keep doing that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use Fudge, which is this one here, and I'm just gonna deepen it a little bit more in the crease, just a little bit, before we cut it, because, you know, I think it will give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm gonna do just a little bit, I'm actually, I'm gonna be honest, this palette is um, not my favorite. I love Anastasia palettes normally. This one is not hitting it right. I don't know if that's appropriate. That, that's not what I meant to say. You know what I mean. Now I'm gonna go in with this Morphe Fluidity White Concealer. As you guys know, this just came out recently. A lot of people said that the foundation was not very great. I didn't try the foundation because I have a million foundations and I don't get paid to do this. I do this for fun, you know? So like, I didn't get it. I'm happy with the foundation I use right now, which is the um, Born This Way by Too Faced. I'm really excited to see how pigmented this is. So this is the 0, 0.00, so this is like true white. <gasps> oh, uh, oh my God, that's really, that has a nice coverage. Oh my God, that's super full coverage. <gasps> That's gonna make some beautiful cut creases. I'm so excited. I don't have a white concealer. I've been like literally dying to get one though. So I'm I'm really excited about this, you guys. I'm, like really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and cut the crease. If you guys want, I'll zoom you in. Let's zoom in. Woo! Oh God, I'm so ugly. Don't look at me. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, you guys, so I actually really like the Morphe Fluidity, the concealer, the white concealer. It's really nice, and it actually, it dries down pretty quickly, so I'm gonna actually pack on. I'm using Electric, which is right next to that Roxy. It's a very duochrome -y. It's like a green and gold, almost. It's really pretty. And you guys, honestly, to give it a little bit of credit, this is very buttery. This is a really nice buttery shadow. This applies beautifully. I'm very happy with this one. Obviously, this is all juiced up and ready to go now. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way the eyes turned out, actually, even though I had a lot of trouble blending that. This actually seems like it's actually gonna be pretty cool. It's really, really soft, so I have high hopes for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Born This Way and kind of dab that on my face, and then I'm gonna go in with this and start to blend it on in and see how it does. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start it off on this setting here, which seems to be like the fastest setting, and I'm gonna start to buff it on in. I literally did not do a single jump cut when I was putting that on and it actually already died. So I don't know what the exact charge time is that this has to be on. 
I'm gonna check on that. I'm gonna continue to blend out my foundation with this little Juno sponge here though, because unfortunately this is gonna dry down if I don't. So I don't know. I'm gonna check the instructions and let you guys know if it's user error and I will be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually give that thing the benefit of the doubt because the instructions do say that it's supposed to be charged for three hours for a usage time of up to 60 minutes. I charged it for about two, so I didn't really give it its full first time charge, which it says three hours. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I do feel like it should have lasted longer. That was on charge for two hours and to last like two minutes. Something just isn't adding up. That's crazy. I really wanted to try that. I'm so upset. Now I have to clean it too. <sighs> which is my least favorite part of everything. I literally cleaned all of these brushes that I'm using today and like I might have to do like a little tour of everything that I have here because I have everything set up right in front of where I film. I literally probably have maybe a hundred brushes. It's crazy. I have so many that I have to like wash and it takes me, it took me like three hours to wash all of these. It's not a fun task, but I just did it and there's nothing better than having just fresh brushes at your fingertips that you can just grab and they're just ready to go. Ah, oh, I love that. Okay, wait waited a second and I'm wondering if I can get a little bit of contour out of it. Let's see. Okay, there it is kicked on. Let's see if maybe we can get a little bit of contour action out of this brush. So it pretty much made it through. Um, I don't think it did a bad job. It actually did a really good job. It took a little while longer than I think it would with an actual brush to kind of blend it in, but it did a really nice job. It did leave it fairly airbrushed looking. Now I'm gonna go in and blend a little bit more because obviously it died before I could finish, but I mean, it did a good job for while it was alive. I think it would do really good with like a liquid foundation. I think for a um, cream or something like that, you may end up wanting to use a different brush because you can kind of buff it a little bit more because the bristles are a little soft on this but it would be really good for a liquid foundation i can't wait to try this with a foundation i'm definitely going to probably try to use that in the next video so i'm wondering if i went a little heavy with the contour maybe but now i'm gonna go in on my under eye with that same exact palette and i'm gonna use roxy and fudge under my on my under eye. Don't look at my heavy contour. Making me nervous. That literally turned out so pretty. I'm gonna change the camera battery because literally it's dying. And then I'm gonna use this new lip kit that I got from Revolution. And um, these are actually super affordable. So if you're looking for a good lip kit, we'll see if this is good. Okay, and I have two of these here, but I think I'm actually gonna use the one called Noble. It's this color here, if my camera will Focus. Okay, well you can kind of see it in that blurry little dot. So I'm gonna open this. This is the, oh, it's a matte lip kit. I don't know what I thought this was, but okay, let's see. I've been holding on to this for literally, I don't know, forever, but it's a whole little kit. So it has a lip liner and then it also has the actual lipstick. So I'm gonna start obviously with the liner and we gotta get some highlight on this face too. I'm looking so flat. This is the little lip line weird so it's like a pencil it's not like a pencil it's a pencil and i'm gonna start to line my lip oh it's actually really creamy and i think these are like really cheap i think this whole kit was like i don't know six or seven dollars i might be wrong the rule is like lips are sisters not twins right because i mean that's just what i'm following so i lined them completely wow i'm actually really feeling this look to be honest i feel catty so i'm gonna go ahead now and pop this on my lips. This is actually really nice. And the applicator is really nice too and small. And I'm horrible at lining my lips. Horrible. So this is kind of nice. That actually is really nice. I really want to see how it dries down though. Like, ooh. Uh, I'm going to let this dry down. And while it does, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some lilies and some highlight. And I will be right back with the finished look. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look here. I am actually super happy with how it turned out. I think that everything is pretty poppin'. I did have a little bit of trouble with the subculture palette. The palette itself is pretty subpar. I love the colors to it but they just don't blend out super, super well. And you know, that's kind of a miss for me. I do love the duochromes there. It does have a lot of kickback. The brush it came with, I think all the Anastasias come with that. Pretty okay. It's good for on the go. I like that about it. And then this little guy here, I really can't judge it too much, honestly. It just didn't get enough use. So I don't want to say anything bad about it. And then the Morphe Liquidity, 
liquid whatever the concealer this one is great if you're looking for a white concealer to do like cut creases where it's white and like you don't have to really put much on it that is a great one if you do one layer it's gonna kind of you know mess up with the color of course and then if you do a second layer bam completely white it's really a nice concealer and then what else did i have oh the lip kit the lip kit is really nice like it feels very natural and i feel like it would be long wearing unfortunately i'm not wearing it long so I knew that wasn't gonna like really tell you how it's long wearing, but I'm hungry, you know? I've been filming this for like four hours now, it's crazy. But yeah, it's really comfortable. I would compare it exactly to Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's very nice feeling. It doesn't look like it's gonna crack a lot or anything. Granted, of course, I won't really know if it is very long wearing. If you guys have any comments about it, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think about this look and let me know what you think about the products. If you've tried the subculture, let me know what you think about that, especially because I'm curious to see what you guys think about that one. Thank you guys so much for watching make sure you leave a like down in the little like bar whatever if you like this video and of course subscribe if you like this video also and i will see you guys next time and on twitter which will be in the drop down below tweet me bye guys <laughs>